Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video we will once again call attention to Glyph Scripting and PointWise's GitHub repository. Glyph Scripting is a powerful tool and provides the user with a framework for increasing the efficiency of workflow processes. However, in this video I'm going to be a bit selfish and I decided to demo a script I find interesting. This script provides an automated way to generate NACA 4 series airfoil geometries as well as the boundary layer mesh. For all the Aero students with access to PointWise, this could be a useful tool for those airfoil surface pressure distribution projects. The NACA 4 series was a family of airfoils generated using analytical equations describing the camber of the airfoil mean line and the thickness along the length of the airfoil. Just to give a little background on the NACA 4 series geometry description, the first digit in the mac the first digit is the maximum camber. The second digit is the maximum camber location, and the third and fourth digits represent the maximum thickness. Uh, just a few notes, all the digits are a percentage of the cord length. Uh, the maximum thickness occurs at 30% of the cord. The cord length is fixed uh, to a unit length, and all airfoils have a, a flat trailing edge. Uh, just as an example, the NACA 2412, the maximum camber is 2% of the cord, maximum camber location at 40% of the cord, and the maximum thickness is 12% of the cord, again located at 30% of the cord. Moving to point wise, we can demonstrate the script. On screen, I've already started the script and you can see the GUI that's associated with this particular script. Simply input the four digits defining a NACA 4 series airfoil and click create, or uh, the script does support the ability to import external airfoil coordinates from a segment file, uh, which you can do using the browse functionality. So going back to our example, the 2412, we'll go ahead and create the geometry. Pretty simple. The next order of business is to define the boundary layer parameters. The boundary layer parameters will change depending on the flow conditions, but you'll input the initial cell height, the cell growth rate, the boundary layer height, and points around the airfoil. And points around the airfoil are basically points around the O-grid topology, the structured O-grid topology that will be created once we click Mesh. So now that we have all the input parameters that we desire, we can hit Mesh and it'll create the O-Grid topology. It'll take just a moment. Again, this just demonstrates the power of Glyph uh, being able to, again, uh, kind of automate some of the workflow processes that you may have. This is a very simple uh, demonstration, but any functionality within the, the GUI can be scripted. So you can imagine the options are limitless in terms of scripting any kind of workflow processes that might, again, uh, improve work efficiency. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.